good view. And when you're on a hairpin, you want to be at third or second gear. So now you're going to shift down to third. And then we're going strong, fourth, third. And then shift down to second in the middle of that. Hey guys, Roblox Voice here back with another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get really good at Mount Otsuki. So, uh, this is video, this video is just going to be kind of showing you guys how to get a faster time. Um, I'm not exactly sure what my top time is, but I'll definitely be getting you, like, average times that are pretty good. And, I'm just going to be showing you tips overall in-game. So, you can apply these tips to other maps, like Ichikawa Region, and, uh, not really, uh, the C1 Loop in Classic Tokyo, or Tokyo City, but mainly just... Um, the Togue maps, uh, like the C1 loop, and, or not the C1 loop, um, what's it called, Ichikawa region, and my Otsuki Togue. So, uh, the first thing is the car. So, right now, I'm at the dealership, and, uh, you wanna kinda get performance over looks. And, uh, you may be wondering, there's no, like, performance mods in this game, so what do I mean by that? Well, what I mean is, let's say you want a 350Z, or let's say here, a 330Z, right here, or actually let's say you want the 340Z, so it has extremely good stats and stuff, its weight is pretty considerable, but everything here about this car is good, besides the fact that it doesn't have body kits. So let's get the 330Z, and look at that drop in stats. This one has much less performance, but you can have body kits on it. So what you want to do is kind of go for performance more. And I actually got this one just because it didn't have body kits. So you may be wondering why am I even saying this? I'm just saying it as something to consider. You don't want to be like com buying completely different cars just because they have body kits. Because sometimes a car just looks good stock and you don't want to always be getting body kits on cars. Sometimes you just want to be going for the pure perform performance. But anyway, once you have your car ready here, the next thing you want to determine if is if you like grip racing or drift racing. And pretty much, if you're playing Midnight Racing Tokyo, it's always going to be grip racing. Because it's kind of impossible to drift in this game unless you're using an American muscle car. It's possible to drift, and a lot of people do it with ease. But it's pretty hard considering this game is really realistic. Uh, with all these things and without performance mods we can't tune our cars to do specific things like drift so for now I don't think drift racing is an option but of course you can go around on every turn and just do this which that's kind of a drift but like turns are way wider than that and uh, you'll be having much more trouble on an actual toke so after that the next thing you want to do uh, to get a faster time is just seriously go manual there's so many people that don't use manual and the reason why you should use manual is because first off when you're actually going on the togue um you, you sometimes need to stay on a specific gear and you can't maintain a single gear on automatic it just automatically takes your speed and puts it into some type of gear so let's say i'm going 50 miles it'll just put me on second gear but here on first gear, I can be going 50 like this. So like, it's kind of like, I could be going like 50 on fifth gear for whatever reason if I wanted to. And sometimes uh, cars would drift easier on specific gears and you can't do that on automatic. But guys, once you have all of that done and ready, then you want to go onto the actual Togue and practice a little bit with those few things that I've taught you. Also, another thing is going on the inside and outside of turns. So. I'm going to quickly show you guys a diagram kind of thing that I drew out and uh, I'll make you guys decide whether you're a person that goes on the edge and then comes into the middle earlier or a person who goes out and then ends up on the inside. I'll show you guys what I mean in just a second. Okay guys, so I'm here in paint.net and I'm just going to do a quick drawing to show you guys what I mean uh, by the turns that I was talking about. Okay, so let's say there's a chicane, which is pretty much where there's a turn here, and then a turn here. So, you're driving, and you go in on this turn, and then out on that turn. So that's what you want to do, you want to stay on the outside, and then come in close to the edges, 
and then come in on the inside because when you're on an inside of a turn that shortens the actual turn itself so if there's a turn like this and i'm going on the outside there and then here's the finish line if i'm going on the inside if you look at this i traveled a lot less distance going on the inside so that's why you always want to be on the inside so now what i was talking about earlier was what type of person you are when you turn so let's say there's a hairpin here you can either be on the outside and then merge into the inside and then end up on the outside or inside depending on if there's a turn there and there's nothing wrong with this this is perfectly fine or you could be the person who goes on the outside 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 and then turns into the inside and stays on the inside the whole time and i personally like this like i over i obviously over exaggerated that image but it's pretty much where you like stay really close to the inside kind of like gutter running i think is the term for it it's pretty much where you're up uh, on the edge here and like one of your wheels is in the air it's like something from initial d um but uh that will make you stay close to the edge both of these um strategies are pretty much the exact same thing uh one of them you start on the outside and then you merge in halfway through and one of them you're just outside 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 and then you're on the inside like the whole time uh, but that's pretty much all about the turning and now we're actually going to hop onto the togue and i'm going to show you guys what i mean by all of this and i'm going to apply all these skills that i taught you and hopefully you'll be getting faster times by the end of the video okay guys so now we're here uh on the togue and we're about to start a downhill and i'm going to show you guys a quick lap probably not the best lap in the world but just a casual lap and uh what you want to always do is have your hand on the handbrake whether it's p like your p key or a shift or whatever you have for your parking brake you just want to have that ready because sometimes you'll need to slow down fast like that or sometimes pull a drift depending on where you are and also you want to set it to manual as you can see here i'm on manual and then um also never go into the races uh there's a point in the race where uh, you can take a shortcut and kind of skim through the grass uh it's near the end and uh not doing that will like add a second or two um, so you definitely want to not be on the races because the barriers seriously uh, limit you. But anyway, I'm going to be seeing the uh, gear I'm on and kind of teach you guys how to shift as I'm doing this. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. So we're starting to rev and we're off. So you want to kind of shift when you're at like the 7 or in the middle of the 6. Um, that really makes it easy to drift and also headlights always on so you can have a nice good view. And when you're on a hairpin, you want to be at third or second gear. So now you're going to shift down to third. And then we're going strong, fourth, third. And then shift down to second in the middle of that. And then we ended up out nice out here. So we're going to go down to fourth, fifth, break, fourth, third, second. Now we're back on to third. And then we're going to slow down here. And see I had too much speed there so now I'm going to shift down chicane here and fourth for this long turn you want to be on third or fourth and then shift down again here we're going to slow down and shift down to second and see we were kind of on the inside there you always want to be on the inside to shorten your distance here I was more on the outside, I didn't slow down enough. And we're back on the fourth. Third. And then back to second. That one we were on the inside really nice. And then here, back down to second. Third, and then down to second again. You want to be nice on the insides. Back down to second over here, and I'll show you why. Because then there's this turn over here, and that one you need to be on second. Same with here too. On turns, you don't have enough time to be able to accelerate. 
and then here you want to shift up to third and you want to stay on third till the end pretty much uh you'll have to shift back down because there's a ton of other hairpins here but this is the part where you just cut through the grass that shaves off a few seconds that's really helpful and then for this part that's coming up i'll show you guys how to slow down so then you want to shift down that was actually a really bad example but yeah you just want to shift down that slows you down a lot and then also break shift down to second here and you're pretty much going to be on second for a bit and then here is where you're going to shift up to third down shift but on these hairpins you're pretty much always going to be on second and then here you want to shift up to third and then you just want to shift up to your highest gear here um because this is the end of the race and i didn't gain any xp here because i had to pause my video for a second uh i already completed the actual lap um but since i did have to pause i stopped for a second so let's see what time i got for the downhill i got three minutes and 20 seconds which isn't good really um i could get an easily a better time that's actually like kind of bad uh three minutes and 20 seconds um but uh i got first place in this lobby there's like oh wow there's actually a lot of people here but yeah uh first place and that's pretty much a downhill but uphill is a different story you're still going to be shifting a lot and stuff and on the hairpins you're going to be on a lower gear but here you want to be you're kind of needing more power since you're going up uh so you're going to seriously need to be like on a higher gear with more speed so i'll quickly show you a quick uphill lap so we're starting here and like i said earlier shift in between the six and the seven like so and then when you go over here you want to be on like fourth gear on this turn fourth gear no problem shift down to third down to second and then you're on second through this whole hairpin area it's also a good idea to have your mini map open like that uh, then you can see what's coming up ahead but i'm already like pretty much like i'm i'm not a pro on this track um but i know what's coming next all the time um i know what turns are coming next so i don't need a mini map up once more you can shift up to your highest gear here but be aware because there's a sharp turn coming shift down to fourth stay on the inside down to third And then you want to be on third for most of this here you can go down to second here and then once you're in between the six and seven shift up to third and then here shift down to second stay on the inside try to stay on the inside as much as you can that shortens the track and increases your time i say like on the other side of the yellow line depending on what way you're turning so here I'm on the other side of the yellow line don't be afraid to cut through the grass sometimes but you're always on the inside and also remember to break a lot uh if you're in a race and you start breaking and the other person doesn't they'll end up hitting the wall or having to break severely at that point and that'll slow them down so if breaking makes you fall back behind don't worry about it because you're gonna get back up as long as you're always on the inside and uh on the right gears so here we shift down to second and as you can see i need that second because i'm still working on it and back down to second here we're still pushing third fourth here you could even go to fifth if your car is fast enough and then you want to slow down third second and then here's pretty much the end of the tug or track or whatever you want to call it so here you want to be on probably third or fourth gear and then you could just go up from there and here we go i quickly check here first place 325 so i'm pretty sure for my downhill that's what i got 320 okay yeah so the 325 isn't a bad time uh, but yeah, 
that's pretty much it for today's video guys um if you guys if this helped you and you're actually getting better times and you're just being a better player uh then make sure to tell me in the comments i reply to like every single comment go check my videos and also thank you guys for 25 subscribers we gained like five in a day uh so thank you for that and also for like 900 plus views on my video it's probably gonna hit like 1k by the end of the week or something so uh, thank you guys for all of this and if you guys have any video ideas or recommendations make sure to tell me below like i said earlier i respond to all comments and as always i'm roblox voice thanks for watching